Uh, let me uh, invite uh, uh, Dr. Jagat Shah. He is a diamond technologist and is certified as a cluster development expert and is a certified management consultant. He worked as a trade and investment commissioner of government of Manitoba, Canada for nine years in India. Under his mentorship on road project, he drives around India, USA, Africa and around the world to mentor youth startups, SMEs and women owned businesses. His benchmark project is his 10 years work in Afghanistan to connect Afghani businesses to global markets. Dr. Jagat, over to you, sir. Thank you, Somji, and uh, thanks to the ministry and QCA for the invitation. Uh, you see, friends, I'm going to uh, share my view from the market point of view, but also talking about four aspects related to quality and productivity. I will bring in my experience of working in US for four years, China for in six years, and India last 20 years. I define any business in terms of competitiveness. It's all about competitiveness at the end of the day. When we talk quality productivity, we are talking of competitiveness. Now, what is competitiveness? And particularly exports is a benchmark of competitiveness. So today we are living in a knowledge economy. It is no more a product economy. Many speakers said product, uh, Anand very rightly mentioned about how other things is important. We are in a knowledge economy. What is knowledge economy? Design is a knowledge economy. E-commerce is a knowledge economy, part of gems and jewelry. Fashion trend is knowledge part of AR, VR use in marketing. Skill development of workers, virtual expo, these are the knowledge components of business which we have to attach to doesn't matter what business we are in. Here we are talking of gems and jewelry. I always say Saraswati Bhantne se Lakshmi Bharti hai. So ye sab Saraswati ke udharan hai. Hum Lakshmi ki baat kar rahe hai, gold Lakshmi hai, lekin Saraswati ka jama, jama, ab wo dono saath rahte hai. Somji very rightly mentioned about IT and Pharma, how it has given us a name in global markets. Why? Because of knowledge component in those businesses. So what is the knowledge component we need to bring to gems and jewelry? And we are now in a digital economy, particularly in the pandemic, it has been proved. This type of a interaction which we are doing, I'm not sure if pandemic was not there, we would have been doing. And now whole world will do even after pandemic goes away, right? And we are in a work from home economy. In fact, work from anywhere economy. TCS kind of companies are saying that now 350,000 people will work from home forever. All our marketing people in gems and jewelry business, can't we not work from anywhere? So when I say work from anywhere or work from home, it means we get a talent pool across the world for marketing. now. Why We don't have to, I am in Surat, I don't have to get people from Surat to do my marketing. I can get from across the world. Now, what is the definition of competitiveness? According to me, four parameters. Number one efficiently create goods and services which which lead to global market demand leading leading to rising standard for everybody in the society and which is sustainable into the future four components i only want to now talk about these four components and in these four components what government could be doing and what private sector should be doing let's take first efficiently create goods and services a lot of small medium and I come from a gems and jewelry family. I took my career to another line, but my family is from here. From childhood, I have heard, heard these stories. Small medium enterprises come and say, I want to better my technology, but I don't know where it is, where to find, how to get, where to get. I still recall in 1990s when I used to work in China, China used to have technology showcase areas. And people can just walk in and look at all technologies which they develop themselves and import it also. Can we have one world class technology showcase location for gems and jewelry sector? And the, everybody will go there and look at what's happening to the technology. That is something government should perhaps look at. It should be only one world class. We try to do because of our democratic, democratic model, we try to spread it all over the country and what happens because the limited resources are there we lose that world class part of it because that world class part of it will require a lot of funding right so better to do one world class rather than five six average class 
Second, can we have a common facility center for design, design center for small medium enterprise? Small medium enterprise don't have design uh, framework or manpower or deep pockets to hire designers. Can we have a common facility center which can be converted into a design center and world class again design center? Why design center? I will give you a very interesting example. You see denim jeans, denim jeans. We we make so much denim jeans. Arvind used to be number one leader in the world. Now it is no more. Who is the leader? One Turkish company. That Turkish company in 2006 was a small medium enterprise. Today it is a two billion dollar company. It is the highest denim jeans seller of the world. What transform? They took the denim jeans from a commodity textile product to a fashion product. They used to sell at three euro a meter. Today they sell at eight euro a meter. Not much increase in raw material cost. What they did? Very simple. They ask their marketing people take a video camera, go around the world and see what people are wearing. That's all. And then they kept upgrading their the product quality based on design. This is so simple to do. We can ask our people everywhere now. Now no need video camera. I'm talking of 2006. Now mobile phone is our video. Let us do that fashion trend analysis. Very rightly, Ananji mentioned about trendy. Yes, it is a trendy market. Are we addressing that market? Why Indian youth is not going for jewelry, gold jewelry particularly? Because is it trendy, right? Then innovation. Can we teach innovation in our schools? I still remember in China from class five there is a subject on innovation, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven onwards. That will bring that innovation mindset. I always say do one thing better than anyone else is innovation. Private sector should implement zero defect. Which government of India has amazingly, uh, you know, uh, put into place. And design is nothing but value addition. What else? Let me now go quickly to the second part of global market demand. Virtual Expo. Can we do more and more virtual expo? People used to say, I remember 15 years back. No, no, no. Jewelry can never be sold online. Look at BlueNile.com. Well, 3,450 crore rupees of jewelry they sell online. American company. Credit card, advance payment. Legal payment, no cash business. Blue Nile dot com. It was a startup. It is three thousand four hundred fifty crore sales. New York Stock Exchange listed company. Do we have an example? Can we do virtual expo? We should do so much virtual expo. Between July last year to December last year, nine hundred forty virtual expos took place in the world. Seven seventy by China. We should be doing more of that. Branding. Uh, someone was talking of that. You know, all these small medium enterprises a challenge on organized sector. Can we do a cluster? Can we build a consortia? Can we give a common brand to them? Small small ones will not never be able to build a brand. Can we have a common brand of the country, India? And can that role be played by the government? Can we try to understand, uh, Madam uh, Rajshri ji had very rightly shown our competitors in terms of US, UK, Belgium is right. What are their best practices? Can we document? Can we convert into Tamil, into into Gujarati, into Marathi, and give to our workers also? Why our workers should not know that what is the fashion trend or what is the what is the trend in the market? If they know, that is where bottom to up approach starts of competitiveness. They are the people who should be knowing. They are the people who should be shown videos of showrooms of gold jewelry in America or wherever. That this is how you what you are making today is how it is being sold around the world. They will feel so much proud of the work which they are doing. The productivity straight away will go up. Productivity is a mindset. E-commerce, eBay, Amazon, standalone portals. Government. I I I read that government has tied up with Amazon, and I was reading yesterday that Amazon has said that till July 2020. Fifteen thousand crore rupees of Indian made in India products were sold in Amazon for international market in their overseas Amazon platforms. Fifteen thousand crores. Imagine when government partners with them, what will happen? On the private sector level, from the global market demand point of view, use of AR, VR, are we using that in our sales? It is amazing scope to do that. Virtual trade missions we can take. Our export promotion councils every week can take a virtual trade mission. No need visa, no need hotel booking, no need venue booking. We can do every week one virtual trade mission and B two B meetings. Third component leading to rising living standard for everybody in the society. It, whatever we do should be inclusive. 
why it should be for certain particular percentage of our population then what are worth is our democracy right so now what is included in a skill development our worker skill development lot of even i know so many families their children don't want to do join their business in jewelry and jewelry because of so many facts many people mention cash business risky business any time you can be in trouble they they don't want to but same thing is happening at worker level so can we do this skill development uh, interaction there and show them this and and can we have a i i missed one point on market i must talk about it can we have a permanent showroom of indian made handmade i like indian handmade jewelry permanent showroom permanent mart in america for example of the indian handmade jewelry in partnership with private sector government and partner and private sector government can give initial funding running should be done by private sector that will position our handmade brand handmade should be a brand that is our distinct identity of our country and involve academia the triple helix of competitiveness government academia industry academia is missing from gems and jewelry sector in a in a large way when i say academia i'm talking of non diamond or gold jewel based academia i'm talking of general academy they should be incorporated their faculty their student should be doing so much of research in indian market in global market and feed to the industry so welfare schemes of course and last is sustainable into the future digital audit can we do digital audit can we see and i i very and I, i i really appreciate pravin bhai what he said quality is not just about the product and production quality is about marketing finance hr administration markets everything how do we package our product that is quality right so can we do a digital audit what percentage of our marketing function is digital finance function is digital because that is eco friendly and build a, and say green jewelry can we look at developing a handmade green jewelry i don't know i don't know i'm just thinking loud so and lastly i want to just say close my comments by saying that uh, we are in a knowledge economy how much knowledge will we add to gems and jewelry business that much our business will grow now if we say we have diamonds and we cut diamonds many others will start cutting diamonds china will cut vietnam will cut bangladesh will cut that will not keep us where we are knowledge adding all these knowledge components into our business will take us where we want to reach and at a higher profitability today a lot of people in gems and jewelry tell me i am exporting but i don't make much money because it is highly competitive we will make money only when we do one thing better than anyone else only when we bring in some innovation that will only happen when we do these things so there is a role to be played by government government is amazing i think in my whole life first time i am seeing a government's positivity in terms of industry atmanir for bharat local for vocal make in india startup india digital india stand up india you go on any you know i mean i mean never never before i have personally i i i mean i have ever observed so let us in the private sector and cash and let us have a public private partnership in every small thing not just mega things that is all i want to share thank you very much oh uh thank you jagat it was very very interesting lots of points to ponder uh, and very very interesting points i must say and i i will add to a couple of them as uh, the uh, once the next speaker uh, com- concludes his remarks as well samir are you ready to present yes sir for the gems and jewelry se- sector and the speakers were, were fantastic and jagat my friend matlab i again compliment on this webinar also you you are a source of information source of inflow and perhaps perhaps even if the questions will be coming jagat has already in a already covered yes mala in the last webinar also i said he is the jagat he has covered the entire thing the entire world the jagat so i was impressed in a what the for the four pointers and yes. and uh, 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 of all all the participants who whatever they have expressed uh they uh, he has covered those topics and, and a final example of, of denim and and this blue nile story which was which was a startup so uh, it is it is very encouraging to think of this innovation center or innovation yeah. program so so some of the thing is like this look at innovation anywhere in the world 
I consider America to be the innovation capital of the world. Okay, what is the foundation of innovation? It is okay to fail, but fail early and fail small. We in India, we have this Atal Innovation Mission. We have more than 300 centers across the country already and in colleges and universities, it is existing. The important thing in innovation is this triangle, triple helix, government, academia and industry, all three together. So, like Anand said, private sector is ready to come in. Maybe as an outcome of this today's talk, we should work on a document that what industry will play a role in innovation, what academia will play and what government will play and roll it out. For example, two, three days back, our prime minister announced startup champions. It is on the lines of Shark Tank for the innovation. It can be done in every college. It can be done sector wise. And that is where the beginning will start because this see, innovation is the is the knowledge part of the economy which I was talking about. What yeah. is Facebook? What is uh, Microsoft is a university company, Apple, Amazon, you name. These were these, these all came up based on research and inputs from university and education system. So yeah. that is something which we can immediately we should look at and we already have a good ecosystem now in India. On the we yeah. are already third largest uh, uh, you know startups in the world. Yeah. Uh, thanks. So uh, just to.